My name is Alan Wilson and I was conducting the Philharmonia Orchestra today. We had 94 players in the orchestra today, which is quite a big group. The instruments used today was a regular orchestral setup, although there were a couple of uh, extra instruments. It's called an oboe de more, which is the oboe of love. And it's, a, it's got a wonderful sound. It's slightly lower than a regular oboe in pitch, and it's got this big nutty kind of warm, warm sound. It's a beautiful instrument, very rarely used. The orchestra myself I'm working with today is Well Banani, who um, I've worked with on several occasions in the past. All I can say, it's been a fantastic day. Conducting this orchestra is like absolutely amazing. You know, they're just a tremendous bunch of musicians. They're, they're great people, wonderful atmosphere, really nice people, and it, we just I just love working with them, and it's been a real pleasure. My name is Steve Price, I'm the recording engineer for this project and my main aim today is to get as high a quality product as I can um, in the quickest possible time. When we record we have a click track that all the musicians hear, that every musician in the room has their own set of headphones and they have a click track and also um, a selective mix of the other players in the room in their headphones and the click track is basically marks the tempo of the piece so if the tempo of the piece changes so does the click track and that's what they have to stay in time with all the way through I'm not sure there are different challenges recording an orchestra as to recording anything. You, you want to get everything as best possible quality that exists really um, and with a studio like here, Air Studios, they have a fantastic array of microphones so I basically have, I can pick and choose whatever I want and there's a good chance they have those things. Um, so from my point of view it makes my life much easier because whatever I decide to use on any given instrument they generally have one.
is Wael Ben Ali, I'm the composer of the music. The piece of music is called The Oryx and the Unicorn, and it's being written for the Shafalla Center, the, uh, the gala this year, 2012. The Shvalla Center was a center that was uh, built and spearheaded by uh, Her Highness uh, Sheikh Hamouza in Qatar. It's an incredible place for these um, kids who, whether they have physical or mental special needs, they, they have a place, they go there, they study, uh, the parents are involved, they have state-of-the-art stuff for them, and I'm really, it's the one thing I can do is write music, and I'm so proud to be just part of it in any shape or form. The title, The Oryx and the Unicorn, basically, um, the Oryx was the basis of, from the side, when you looked at the Arabian Oryx, where people mistook it for a unicorn. So it's basically fact versus fiction. And um, I wanted to have more of a strong piece, a positive, moving forward in, in life, and um, not really debunking the myth in the music so much as I am um, just highlighting it. Writing it is a challenge in itself because I have to come up with the themes, I have to be happy instinctively with, with what I'm writing. When I'm, when I'm orchestrating, I actually adore that. More than creating the tune, um, just the orchestrations and everything, but then having an orchestra like the Philharmonia playing it is such a pleasure and I'm incredibly honored to have that.